The first victim of the deadly parade shooting has been identified, a grandfather visiting the area from Mexico. Tim McNicholas with our station in Chicago spoke to that victim's family. He has more now from Highland Park. Dick, one of the victims was a man named Nicolas Toledo. His family tells me he was in his late 70s and he loved to paint, he loved to fish, and he loved to go on walks in the park with his family. His granddaughter, Kimberly Rangel, says she was planning on attending the parade herself with her young daughter, but she couldn't make it. She says there was a marathon in her neighborhood, so she couldn't get out, and now she is beyond thankful for that. Rangel says her mom called her, and she describes it as the most heartbreaking phone call imaginable. Her mom informed her that Nicolas had been shot and killed. A few other family members not only witnessed the shooting, but some of them were injured and had to go to the hospital. They're expected to survive, but they are devastated. I would just say to like hold your family tight while you can, while you still have them. Um, because, you know, like I said, we didn't expect this to happen so close to home, and it did. So it's like, you know, it's not just my family that's affected. I, there's so many families that are being affected by this, and I just hope everyone holds your family tight tonight. Wrangell said Nicolas was actually visiting here from Mexico. He'd been here about a month, and during his stay, Wrangell's daughter got to meet him and was just beginning to forge a bond with her great-grandpa. Now that relationship has been cut short, and Wrangell says that makes this even more heartbreaking. In Highland Park, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.